what is up everyone back again this time with another body painting well this isn't a body paint but this is a face paint and this is actually the first one that i did very interesting what the results are and i'm excited to show you how it came out now before we get into that i am on patreon where i have my full body art projects so make sure you go to that link in the description show me some support and sign up for that patreon now getting into this what i'm doing here is i'm doing the character cyborg so what you've seen before was me just doing foundation on the side of my face with no paint and right here i just started off with some light gray and i started working up those layers and the layers that i the way i worked up the layers is actually adding in a bit of black here and there to kind of darken that gray now i just started adding in the white highlights and i'm just blending it in a bit this is actually ben nye white clown paint and it's more like a cream consistency and i felt that worked that worked great alongside the paint and i was able to get a really smooth transition between the colors and the palettes i'm working with in case you guys are curious is the mayron paradise and i'm also using the mayron mimi Choi. i believe Choi or yeah or chow no it's Choi. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be using that palette also. That palette consists of eyeshadow, it consists of foundation, and it consists of body paint, which I didn't know at the time that I purchased, but I'm glad that it had all three of those things because it it's kind of leaning me into something that I was also interested in getting into later on down the line, which is makeup. So it's a good starting point for me personally, to have that in the palette set because I get to experiment and see where things go from there and how I can utilize it. It's also good because I can also test out how to bring all of these elements together and put together a really good um, piece of art, which is me or somebody else. <laughs> One of the biggest lessons that I've learned from doing this paint job alone is to be doing your paint in good, sufficient lighting. I basically did this in the corner of my studio. I was just using the main light from the ceiling. I didn't have any of my other lights set up and it looked drastically different than when I went over to the bathroom where there's more lighting and I was able to look in the mirror and whatnot. So that's a tip for you guys when you guys are getting into this. Make sure that you're working with sufficient lighting. I know it seems like a very simple and easy point, but a lot of us may overlook it. I overlook it. I overlooked it and even for me, this was this was just on a whim like I did this on a whim there was no real there was no real plan or anything as I usually would do I just went in had the idea on my head pulled up a reference photo of cyborg and then I started to go now what I'm doing here is I'm using that powder from that palette that I spoke about earlier and I'm just using a bit of the grain going over it just to add some smoothness and some haze the thing is with the metal kind of surface it doesn't really have too much harsh lines so that's what i try to mimic but i also try to keep it in the realm of a comic book style still while using the reference of cyborg from the movie so there was different elements that i liked of both and i was trying to combine them and kind of create a unique look going forward and then now here I'm just going over with the Mayron Paradise and I'm also using their basic palette also. So I, I pretty much operate the same way as when I'm painting my portraits on canvas or wood panel. Start off with the light tones and then build up to the darker and add in some blending techniques through there until I get the desired look that I'm aiming for. 
Now here's another tip for everybody getting into body paint or if you're thinking about getting into body paint, face paint, go in with a plan. I did a body painting a few days after this and that was my approach and the results came out way better than anything I previously did. What I did was I made a sketch and in that sketch I actually had what colors I would be using from the palettes that I had in what areas. So I marked all that out. So now when I actually went and did my body paint, there was no second guessing. There was no um, trying to see what fits and what goes together. It was pretty much just boom, get this color, lay it on, and then I was good to go. So another simple tip, but it's very effective. Something else that I can tell y'all is that when you're doing your paint, unless it's certain areas like you see me doing here with the eyes where I'm just caking in some of that red, when you use your brush and lay down the base, you want to go in a crossing motion. That's going to give you much more coverage and leave you with less streaks than if you're just going uh, back and forth or up and down or something. Doing that crisscross motion, you're gonna cover a lot more of your skin and you're not gonna get a lot of skin peeking through unless your, unless your paint isn't really that opaque. So keep that in mind is the motion of your brush. Also, what you can do to cover a large area is use those yellow sponges. That also works great. You don't wanna use those um, soft blender type of sponges. That doesn't really work good for water-based paint. That mostly works better for cream-based paint or like a grease. That works better. And you see me using the sponge here because I'm using a black sort of grease paint, which it was much easier to blend in to the paint and it did exactly what I needed it to do. So now we're coming up on the finishing tail end of this face paint and this is where I just start adding in some of my highlights, some of the areas that I really want to pop. Around the eyes is where I wanted it to be kind of like a glow, kind of like a, a shimmer coming off of this eye. And I'm just going to go in in a minute and start blending out this white area and start smoothing it out a bit. And now as we're finishing up, my first ever face paint, here are the results. Did this on a whim. Make sure you guys go and check me out on Patreon and support. Link is gonna be in the description. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.